Hi guys, so welcome to my Canva training. Now a few people in my um, community have asked for a really basic overview of Canva, where to find things, etc. So I'm gonna kick off with that one to start with. So when you go into Canva, you'll see um, but lots of designs just like this. You might not, when you first start, you won't have any uh, documents that you've worked on. So your screen will probably be more like this. And as you can see, you've got Canva do a really great job of designing for you. So there's not much that you have to actually design yourself if you're not that way inclined. So my dashboard might look a bit different because I pay for Canva for business. But it, I'm going to show you just basi basically where everything is and that will be the same on the free version. So you can go in and you can start, if you don't want to use one of the templates and you just want to start yourself, um, from scratch go up to here where it says use custom dimensions and you can literally just click in the so quite a lot of blogs are about a thousand pixels wide 700 deep ish and you can design and it brings you up a basic white box that you can then design on top of so if you were starting this way you would probably want to upload something so maybe you'd want to upload um, an image of something maybe you've got a product like I have so I've got this ebook and I just went into the upload section. Um, if it was, if I hadn't uploaded it, I would just click upload your design and find it from wherever it is. Um, if I had already uploaded it, I can just click on it like that. And then when you click on the image, you'll get the four white, the four black dots around it. So you can click on those and make this bigger or smaller if you so desire. You can see the little um, rotation thing there, so you can rotate it if you want to rotate it, um, etc. So that's just how you might want to start with something that's your own design. And then when you want to add some text to it, this is just a really basic outline. So if you want to add some text to it, you can think, okay, well, may, I'll go into here and I'll either add text like this by clicking that and then type in my text in, or I might decide to use, um, one of the templates that's already laid out that's a little bit more designed, which you can see down here. So maybe you just click on it and it brings it up here. Now this adds it in my brand colors because I am I have Canva for business. And then literally it's just the case of typing your own stuff, highlighting it, typing your own stuff over the top. And you can see how this is made up of different blocks of text. And then if you want to just do a basic image, basic change of color, again, I've got my brand colors because I've got the pro, but you can change it to any color that's in your palette, or you can click on that cross there and change it to any color by clicking on the wheel or by adding a hex code in here. So however you want to do it. So you'll have your text in there and then you can think, oh, well, maybe I don't want a white background. So literally just go to where it says background here and you can change it to any color um, here by again clicking here to get the wheel or put the hex code in clicking your brand colors if you've got canva for business like me or clicking any color that just pops up here so obviously some of them are completely gross <laughs> and we wouldn't want them um, or you can use these if this is more of what you want which obviously I wouldn't want um, necessarily but you can use them they might be okay for some for some things, um, or you've got like the marbly type effect and the grey one there. So some of them are a little bit more, a little bit easier on the eye. You could also put an image in the background. So if you want to pay for an image, you can use something like that in the background. If it's if you have to pay for it, it's here, and they just add it to your uh, bill at the end when you download the image. But there's so many things you can do. I mean, that one's quite cool. You could change. You could change it slightly to be a slightly different grey, um, makes it a bit lighter. Um, or you could go back to how it was before, make sure it's highlighted. You can see that the lines are up here. So and then go into the filter and maybe by changing the filter, you can um, see what happens and how you can change the image. So you can get lots of different ideas like that or you can flip 
so it goes on the other way so you might decide that actually I want the arc you know the arc there or I want it back the way it was before so it's just some little things that you can play with there filter flip that's shown you how to do the background if then you want to take that background off just make sure that's the, the layer that you've selected by just clicking on it and then you can delete it and go back to how you were before maybe you want to put a plain color on um, etc so that's just a really basic walkthrough or the next thing you can do if you don't want to start from scratch is go back to where you were before which will just take a minute for me to get that oh, I'll just go back here I'll just click out of that window so go back to where you were before and instead of using the custom dimensions just think well what is it that I want to design do I want to design um, a printable or a poster in which case I might use the A4 do I want to design a social media image um, an email signature you can literally go in and so if, say for example you wanted to do an email signature you'd go on click that one it would then bring you up a template which looks like a white box but you can then pick any of these to go on top so um, whatever that you thought you could you know if you were trying to promote something on your email or if you were having something then you can make into a signature um, for example with your blog details on it and then you can pop it at the bottom so you can literally you know something like this and then you could keep that if you wanted to you'd, any element that you want you just click on it black box come round um, move it wherever you want you might think okay well I want that to be my name and you just click on the element and with that then I would make that element a bit smaller so that it's more manageable because it doesn't have to be that massive box and I might say okay you know this is obviously not how I design it but if I wanted it to be smaller click on it highlight the text go up here make the text smaller if I wanted to justify it left just like you would in Word and then you could add more text to that an easy way to add it with the formatting that's still there is to highlight it and copy and then it saves you finding it from the text bit um, and obviously then having to create the color and everything so if you were happy with that the way it started there you just then you could say you know blogger and maybe you'd want that to be a bit smaller so you'd highlight it and change you know the text there if you want that to be spread out a bit more you can go up to where it says spacing and do the letter spacing or the line height moves it down a bit more you could change the color just by making sure the text is highlighted clicking there you can change that color so you can do and it's giving you because it's in a template it's giving you the colors of the palette that's already there so you can change these um, just by clicking on there so you get the black dots and then going up to here and if I want the green to change to my green and if I want the red to change to my pink and that's then gone and made it straight into my brand colors um, so it's just a good way instead you can add text by going to the main text add but then I've got to try and match up what that font is so if I click on it it's um, Source Sans Pro but it's kind of easier sometimes just to literally click on the text that you like copy it and then um, and then recreate you know and go from there but it's just individual preference you can often change the icon colors as well so if you like this little icon but you wanted it to be in your brand color just click on it and then you can change the icon to whatever color you want um, obviously that's horrendous but um, there you go it's probably a bit better than my brand color so you know you can add to it then if you think oh I want an oh I want an image on there as well you would just go to your uploads and just you know like pick any image and um, you could you know say to get my new ebook you know sign up here um, and that could be on the bottom of your email signature so however you want to work it but that's just um, a quick overview of how to use a really basic template and how to go from the custom dimensions so you've got custom dimensions up here and you've got the templates there that you can literally start a design from and go from there so that is a really brief overview to get you started on canva i hope that's been helpful